friends, Eliza Castle here. Welcome back to this cozy little corner of the internet and welcome back to this love truck series with little Alma or this weird morphed version of herself. Um, if you remember from last episode, as the episode finished, we literally sent her to work and ordered her to work hard. Um, but I think the game's glitching a little bit because I just got this notification as I logged in saying that she has returned with one simoleon, which is brilliant. And there's no option to send her back to work. So uh, I guess we're not going to work today. Maybe we just do the emergency hotline and start to level up our logic skill a little bit um, using the telescope upstairs. But uh, yeah plan for the episode today is to work on some of her work performance anyway um and then tomorrow is actually Winterfest so we will be going over to Nina's house for Winterfest all three of us anyway so let's let's actually start playing see what happens because yeah it's not there's no option for me to send her back to work which is kind of annoying let's get her to run an emergency hotline um, Megan, you're gonna have to get off of that computer. Sorry. Can we just send Megan home? Like, we, she doesn't actually need to be here. Ask to leave. And what does she actually need? She needs a she needs a shower. I'm wondering if she's gonna stay here. Maybe we should go on our morning run. That's part of our routine. Did we already do that this morning? Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. I don't think so though. Uh, but we also need to make some progress. You have 24 hours to pay your bills. Okay, could, could one of you girlies take care of that? Where is our mailbox? Uh, pay bills. And then, Penny, could you also... Oh, I guess you can't ask Megan to leave. Okay, neither of them know Megan. Okay, excellent. <laughs> but so she's just going to do this. We actually need... And yeah, there you go. Winterfest starts tomorrow. Uh, how is she actually doing on her old romance skill? That's what I want to know. Because we're trying to obviously get to level 10. Okay, she's not too far off. She's got about... What is that? Oh, well, that's not going to help. We're definitely going to need to just replace that. Uh, can you start that again? Sorry, my love. You really need to do this hotline. Destiny has learned more about Alma is now neutral towards her. Excellent. Not exactly what you love to hear. But she's, she's doing a little hotline whilst chatting to Destiny. I actually wanted to see... They, they can't quite go to counselling yet. So I'm thinking that they'd be able to go on like Thursday. Because I think it's tomorrow that it, it's a whole week since they went. So I'm just curious what the follow-up appointment looks like. So maybe we'll do that next episode. Um, but can we, can we just do a little intro to Megan and then ask her to leave because it is a little bit weird that she's here <laughs> you know right but anyway for the romance skill yeah she's got about what is 63 left to go we definitely want to get to level 10 before we finish this series and i reckon there's only going to be about two episodes left so definitely want to make sure we do that and then also the the things that we need to do for the romantic explorer like get gold on a romantic date uh, perform 25 romantic gestures with a partner sim. Uh, Woohoo three times in different locations. Which we actually only have one uh, more location to go. So I reckon we'll finish this this episode as well. Maybe go on a gold date um, tonight with the two of them uh, to the nightclub. We haven't actually been there in a while. And they're just hanging out. You know, this hotline takes a lot longer when you're actually chatting. And then why don't we... Is she like too smelly to run, do you reckon? Or do you think they could all go for a run and then... Let's go go jogging. Uh, more go jogging. And then it's more of a midday run today, but still part of the routine. Oh, and Sammy's here. I wonder if he'll stick around if we all leave. Oh, Destiny's just full on going for a run with her book. As a true bookworm. Right, yeah, she's feeling pretty... I, I think she just ran two centimetres and now she's running back because she's feeling uncomfortable. Okay, that's fine. The effort was made. <laughs> sort of. Right, why don't you take a brisk shower? And then... Oh, not twice, just one, one will do. And uh, then why don't you grab some more pancakes? Grab a serving of pancakes and then put the rest... Well, I should probably wait until she takes those before I put them in the thing. Clear all of these up. Perfect. 
There she is, just having a little shower. And then I reckon we'll also do some... Uh, what can we do during the day? Is it just, just observing the sky? Yeah, we could do that. Does that still increase the logic skill if it's during the day? I think so. Um, so let's do that because we do need to get to level three of the logic skill in order to get promoted. So she's completed her emergency hotline, reached level three of the logic skill. Even though she's not at work today, her work performance is not going down. So, I mean, we've lost a day of progress, but we're not, we're not losing any more than that. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> right, so they're just hanging out. Where's Penny? She's really gone for a pro- oh, she's just- she's struggling out here. I think she's actually hungry and smelly, so why don't we tell her to come back and have a shower? Let's take a little brisk shower, because we want everyone to be in a good mood for our date tonight. That would be brilliant if we could all just go on a nice little date together. Uh, why don't you also take a brisk shower, Destiny? Oh, she's saying she can't get to it right now. I think that's probably because- I mean, she's not that smelly, so she could probably just brush her teeth in here. Stop gaming. And how are you doing, Alma? Oh, she probably needs another shower. <laughs> so that's great, but she also needs a loo. So go on over to the loo, and then Alma, why don't you come up here and actually... Um, claim these rocks. These are from a thunderstorm that happened the other night, so claim those. And then observe the sky. I reckon we could sell those for a little bit of cash. Not that we we need cash particularly right now, but, you know, every little helps. Here she goes. She's grabbing her little things. We could probably make this rooftop a little bit nicer. I feel like we've just got... It's just pretty bare, isn't it? Maybe we do, maybe we do that in a minute. But yeah, okay. She's gaining the logic skill. How fast is that going up? 45%, 46%, 47%, it's, it's all right. So she's got about 50% of the way to go. Uh, but she does even only need to go up one level. So that's fine. And then she's all set for work tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow because it's Winterfest, but the day after. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, what should we do up here? I reckon, like, none of them are really into gardening. So I reckon this doesn't make sense, but maybe, like we have like a little hangout spot we could probably keep this oh destiny has reached level four fitness but we could probably keep this blanket maybe have like a little hangout spot with a bookcase or something and then maybe like a treadmill or something just trying to think like what are alma's music lover so maybe we get like a guitar or something up here loves the outdoors so that's just you know her being here is fine affectionate from completing partner oh we didn't actually read this i don't think from completing the paragon partner aspiration sims have slower romantic satisfaction lost in relationships with other sims okay interesting haven't seen that personally <laughs> because she i mean i guess it doesn't she doesn't lose it organically but she has been losing it in other ways jealousy and all of that uh, that we're not even supposed to have um, right, why don't you just have a little clean of these little spots? Because I'm about to do this up. And I, you know, you need to clean first. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks really clean. No, Alma, you're not even trying. Come on. Okay, yeah, that one's gone. Clean this one with vigor, please. And then you probably still need to observe the sky. How, how did we go? Logic, logic, logic. 72%, yes. I Come on, you could do it. You could do it. It's only 5pm, we've got plenty of time. Candy is wondering if you want to go to her house. No, not really. Not really at all. I can't really remember what happened with Candy, but I know that it wasn't good. <laughs> I think she just kept on being annoyed with us when we were trying to flirt with her in the club. Trying to look at everyone else's rooftop scenarios. See what, uh, see what they're doing, but there's not anything super exciting. Yeah, they're kind of all just the same. <laughs> okay. Destiny has reached comedy level three, so that's brilliant. Uh, are they both just watching the, the comedy together? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> sure. These two actually need to flirt a little bit. Like, they need to give her a romantic gift. Give her some grape nectar. Kiss and make up. Offer a rose. Pick up line. Just come on. Let's... I know that they have... What was it? An unpredictable relationship, but they need to get on the same level. There you go. Just do lots of lots of little flirts. Lots of little flirts. Um, exchange numbers. All of this. There you go. And oh, it looks like Alma leveled up. Did she? Did we get a notification for that? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Lovely. Jovely. Let's uh hit a pause for a second whilst you go into build mode. And I'm thinking, no one really likes this so let's just sell that <laughs> and then i don't know i do think that this is helpful to have none of them are particularly interested in logic but um alma does need it for work so maybe we keep that but let's just shove everything into the inventory for now right let's have a look right so i've done all i've done a little bit of a snug area just, just, you know, a bunch of plants, the little uh, romantic blanket, some little lanterns and whatnot where they can have, like, little date nights and hang out. I've done, like, a little book corner, also a bit of a hangout spot, but with, like... You know, just ignore the fact that it might rain. <laughs> I'm gonna say it won't. <laughs> and this is just a cute little reading slash hangout area up here. Um, and then I reckon... Oh, what is all of this stuff? Is this all of Penny's stuff? Huh, I feel like this is all of Penny's stuff. I reckon we could just get rid of it. Okay, we actually just got a ton of money from that. <laughs> so that's really cool. Let's go hobbies, activities and skills. I reckon, let's see. We obviously have this out here that they can have a look at. Can we change the colour of this? What Ooh. Oh, I kind of like this, this one. It's kind of cute. I do definitely want like the dark wood. Yeah, I think I might leave it at that one. That's pretty cute. Um, Do we want a chess table? I mean, we could get a chess table. Just a little one. Like, say, here or whatnot. With some little chairs. But let's just do activities and skills for now. And then I reckon over here... Maybe we should just do a little fitness area. Just maybe have, like, a little punching bag. Maybe a treadmill. Maybe one of the new... Like that. And then maybe one of the... Are these the love struck ones? No, this one is. So let's get rid of that one. Get the little love struck one in. What about this? Is this the love struck one? Something like that. Maybe this is too much. Maybe we just do this. There. There we go. I reckon this is... I mean, I probably should have done this a couple of episodes ago, to be honest. And it's pretty still bare in the middle, but at least we've got, you know, some things. We've got, like, a little hangout spot for, uh, like, reading and hanging out. We've got a little hangout romance spot, I guess. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. We've still got a little telescope and the uh, chess table here. And then we've just got some working out gear. So... You know, we don't have to go all the way to the gym or actually out for jogs and whatnot. Okay, so anyway, 6pm. How's everyone feeling? Uh, Alma needs a shower. So let's go ahead and get her that. Oh gosh, okay. Replace that with uh, the money from Penny's furniture. And then why don't you do a quick shave of your leg hair and take a steamy shower since we're going to go on a date. Penny, why don't you come and grab a serving of this uh destiny probably needs to go to the toilet and then also grab a serving we don't want anyone to uh be hungry or whatnot whilst we're out so let's go and then i reckon everyone will be sorted as soon as we've done all of that and let's let's rock and roll oh this has actually gone off now so destiny 
Um, do you want to just serve dinner vegetable dumplings or something? How is actually... Destiny's cooking skill is only a uh, level one, but she can... Okay, sure. Anyway, but so, so yeah, tomorrow I reckon that we go pretty early to um, Nina's house and we do the cooking with her, we hang out with her, like we hang out with all the kids and whatnot and it'll be, it'll be a wholesome day. And I'm also thinking that we should invite Sammy over um, because we haven't spoken to him... Well, he came over earlier, but we were all on our way out. Um, but we haven't spoken to him in a couple of days and I don't suspect that he would have many people. We don't actually know how long ago it was that his fiance or whatever broke up with him. So, uh, maybe this might be his first Winterfest without them. I reckon she would call and just make sure that he was okay and ask if he wanted to hang out with us on Winterfest. Right, uh, Penny's gone for a nap, uh, which is absolutely fine i don't want her to get tired uh destiny is just cooking alma is good to go so i reckon are you gonna eat destiny or it's still going hey neighbor i'm bored no you do no we don't really want to hang out sorry right grab your plate of vegetable dumplings destiny have a little eat quickly and then let's wake Penny up and go on a date to the old nightclub. And um, we'll get Penny to ask Destiny to create a date and then invite Alma because I think that will improve their relationship marginally. Right, and we need to go on a romantic date. In fact, actually, is this going to count if Alma's not the person that asks? Let's, let's, let's actually get... Alma to ask. Ask to create date. Yeah. Alma, stop talking to Yadira. We don't care about her. Oh. Right, stop being mean to each other. Come on, we're about to go on a date. Goodness sake. <laughs> Romantic Saturday. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh. Why are they actually like this? Right, we're going on a romantic date. Uh, gonna invite Destiny as well, of course. Where are we going? Oh, what do we want to do? We probably want drinks because we're going to the nightclub. I also think that there are games there, so we can play board games. Uh, be romantic, physical intimacy, and then maybe woohoo. <laughs> That'll be cute. Okay, so let's do that, and then let's head on over to the nightclub. Excellent. Okay, so what's going on with these two? Have they, like... Okay, yeah, they, they hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> they were literally just very satisfied in the relationship and now they hate each other. Let's see what she's angry about. Aggravating conversation and love is mad from having an unpredictable romance dynamic. Sometimes love can be a real pain in the heart. Penny feels ticked off just thinking about it. Oh, Penny. And she's got the same one here as well. As well as feeling guilty that a friendship unraveled. Well, I mean, you I'm pretty sure, Destiny, that you were the one that started the argument, so that's a little bit awkward. Um, right, but we do need to play board games, like physical intimacy, woohoo, romantically socialise. And is she still on the romantic explorer? Yes, she is. So we need to get a gold date, perform 25 romantic gestures with our partner sim. So we're not too far to go there, which those will have to be done with Penny because she's the only one that's technically a partner within game because that was the only way we could do it without them getting jealous. And then we need to woohoo one more time. So I reckon after this date, it will be done with all of the Love Shop aspirations. We just then need to do uh, the career, which we might not technically finish this series. I think it's just going to be a little bit too long and go on where we're li like literally only doing the career as progress which doesn't make much sense and could get a little bit boring um that and we need to max out the romance skill which we could potentially also do this episode so all right let's head inside we've got little cassandra goth here as our mixologist this evening excellent let's actually go straight upstairs because i believe yeah we can play games up upstairs so why don't we break the ice okay everybody needs to go up here <laughs> so let's all go here together 
break the ice by playing some games, doing some light physical intimacy, and then later on we'll go downstairs and get some drinks and whatnot. But, you know, they're feeling a little bit tense. Not Alma, specifically, but Penny and Destiny. And we've not actually... Well, I think we've seen the upstairs of this lot, but we haven't actually been upstairs in this lot. So, right, let's play thumbs up, the two of you. Hang out. Okay, that counts. That counts. I actually, that's actually all they need to do. Does this increase their romance at all? Let's see. I mean, it does say that they're increasing romance, but are they increasing with all of them? Let's have a look. Not really. Not significantly. Do they have negative sentiments? Failed friendship. Destiny values keeping her friends close, but her friendship with Penny is frayed and unraveled. Oh no. Okay. So maybe they need to do some friendly inter interactions in order to feel a little bit better about that. I mean, it's going up playing this. It's going up. I just can't see it physically going up for these two. Hmm. Is she attracted to Penny? No. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> they're so funny. I do love these games. I think they're quite cute. Um, okay, well, they're getting a little bit of friendship back. Are they still acquaintances? Yeah, they're okay. Good. <laughs> but why don't we um, do some, like, physical intimacy? Just, you know, kiss hands. Um, caress cheek. Why don't you do a little kiss with Destiny? Stop playing this, everybody. Doing little kisses. Okay, that counts. So that's perfect. We need to romantically socialise ten times. So we could probably do that. Just doing a little flirt here. You just kissed Destiny. So why don't we do a little physical intimacy with uh, Penny as well. And then th these two really need to as, well, as well. If these two interact, why don't you apologise? And romance, physical intimacy, kiss hands. Would that count as romantically socialised if these two do it? Let's have a look. Um, pick up line. Yeah, okay, perfect. So they can, they can flirt a little bit. Offer rose, flirt. Uh, discuss healthy relationships. Flirt, declare love publicly. Talk about relationship fears. Okay, they're being cute to each other, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> maybe I'm not actually paying attention. Right, she's telling her relationship fears to um, Alma. But I actually just wanted to pause for a second. Because... One, we're not making much progress. So let's find the date actions. Why can't I find the day actions? Right, we're going to discuss woohoo with Penny. And then let's... Destiny, can you order drinks for the group? Just an apple nectar for everybody. So we can grab that. I can't work out actually how to... Extend the date. Where are those actions usually? Right, you're not going to go do the drinks? Oh, no, she is. She's ordering drinks. They're all ordering drinks together. Okay, good. So, go and drink something. More light physical intimacy, more flirting, more romantic. Interactions is what we need to do. So, we're going to do some of those. There's our drinks all waiting that Cassandra's prepped for us. <laughs> That's funny. We really need this date to be gold, though. We're kind of running out of time. I don't know how to extend it. It's not giving me the date actions anymore. Uh, yeah, she's not giving them. So, I don't know. But what's happening? Is Alma going to grab her drink? Is someone going to drink something? Go on then. Perfect. Right, let's do some flirting. Bold pickup line. Uh, romance. Blow a kiss. Light physical intimacy. Kiss. Light, physical, intimacy, embrace. Just do a couple of those. Right, and then can we go back upstairs to play the board game? Because I 
don't like how busy it is downstairs. I'd like this to be kind of like an intimate... Right, okay, and we're on silver. We are running out of time, if not an hour. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do it. But can we... Wait, I'm going to pause because I really need to figure this out. Right. Actions. Nothing. So we're looking for date actions specifically. But there's nothing here. Relationship? No. N no. Okay. We're on Penny. So Penny was the one... Oh, no. Maybe Destiny was the one that we originally asked to go on a date. No, I think... I think it was Penny and Destiny was the... Well, let's check both. No. Okay. Are they... They're already on a date. Physical intimacy? More? No. Flirtation? No. Affection? No. Okay. So it's not in the romance panel at all. It's not in the actions. Friendly? More choices? No. It's like a, a bigger option, right? Like it's it has a whole like date action section. Unless they change that in the update. But I can't find where it is. Because it wouldn't be in funny. Wouldn't it's not in relationship. So we can't extend the date. Which is incredibly annoying. So I guess I've just removed it. <laughs> For what reason I couldn't tell you. Um but okay, we're just gonna have to speed on through some of these. We've only got an hour. I'm hoping that both all of them go upstairs, please. Uh, to play this and so that we can make some progress because we've only got an hour and 38 minutes otherwise we'll have to go on another date right play thumbs up with the two of them we've got an hour and 17 it's actually quite difficult to get a gold date if you want to have like any kind of storyline and not just like spam um things it's kind of annoying but here they are some some guys coming to crash as well um, and then we can quit this and friendly, small talk, discuss forms of intimacy. Uh, we need to be affectionate. So look deeply into eyes. Declare love publicly. I don't know if that this is going to... Come on, stop gazing into eyes now. Do something else. We've got 45 minutes. Uh, flirt. No. Uh, confess attraction. Is that going to do it? Uh, talk about drinks. Friendly. More options. Small talk. Talk about mixing drinks. Just do this one thing for me. Pause. Why, are they, why did they just do that? Why did they just do that to me when we literally don't have any time left? More friendly. Small talk. Talk about mixing drinks, please, immediately. You've got 21 minutes to talk about mixing drinks. How long is this going to take? Okay. Whew. Okay, we did it. We got... <laughs> we did it. We got gold. Not too sure... Oh, Destiny's gone to sleep. Just round here. I reckon we go and have a little woohoo with Penny in public uh, to end this day out. And this should actually count as our woohooing three times in different locations. Because we woohooed at home, woohooed at the park, and now woohooing at the nightclub. So that should take us to the end of this. And then we just need five more romantic gestures with Destiny in order to complete the romantic explorer which is pretty cool i reckon what is everyone's mood they're all pretty tired so that's kind of why yeah i mean it is 3 a.m not gonna lie that that's fair um so once they're done in there i reckon let's get um destiny up and let's get going excellent <laughs> lot of steam coming out of that cupboard okay everybody up and let's get home sort ourselves out destiny's probably the happiest of all of us because she took that break that nap everyone else is feeling a little bit tired so let's get going she is feeling energized from exhilarating rendezvous uh an amazing date and from feeling close that's pretty cute 
So she's feeling very energized right now. Okay, where are you going? <laughs> she is walking home with a pep in her step. <laughs> All the way. And so is Penny, actually, to be fair. Zoom on home. Is anyone going to take me with them? Or are you just going to... Wow, okay. Oh, but here she is. She's already ready to go on the little treadmill. That's cute. Um, what is Alma doing? Let's get you in the shower. Take a brisk shower. Uh, Destiny is on her way straight to bed. You probably need a wee before you go to bed, my love. Because otherwise you are going to wake up in the middle of the night for a wee. Um, but Alma, you get going to uh, the shower. You also need a wee, so you can do that afterwards. And then you can also get to bed. And let's stick these vegetable dumplings in the fridge so that we don't have to worry about them going off. And Disney's absolutely loving this new treadmill. So she's just going for a run in the middle of the night. Can we actually get her... How many of these does she have? She has actually quite a few. Let's get her the little gym rat trait so that she can actually do this and we don't have to constantly shower her. Because, <laughs> her, yeah, her hygiene's, like, not going to go... <laughs> new personality take clumsy i want to say yes but i also feel like she's maxed out so she's not actually gonna get uh where are we yeah she didn't actually get to be clumsy just like she didn't get to be jealous i reckon this uh destiny was a sim that was made on the gallery for love struck um and that's how we found her through the app and whoever created her gave her six personality traits at the start so um that's the reason that she can't gain any more even though i don't think that the game technically recognizes that she's got six which is because she hasn't ever had any self-discovery moments so that's why we keep on getting them for her right but she's feeling pretty smelly so let's go uh take a brisk shower and then get on to bed and alma and penny are already fast asleep because it is 5 a.m big day tomorrow big day here they are sleeping. We could probably zoom on through a little bit because nothing exciting is going to be happening. Alma, how are you feeling? She's feeling pretty hungry, but apart from that, she's fine. And it's Winterfest today, so that's awesome. I, as I said, I think we're going to go straight to Nina's as soon as they all wake up and are ready. Maybe they'll do a quick workout together. Maybe they won't. Uh, depends if they all wake up at the same time and what mood they're all in and whatnot. But yeah, and then we'll head on over to Nina's and do all of the cooking and hanging out and what not there just have a wholesome wholesome day all right she's woken up and she's feeling pretty hungry so why don't you go and grab leftovers the other two um, penny's still got a way to go destiny's still got a way to go before she's feeling um good so why don't you actually do a little workout on the treadmill whilst we're here oh that was another we didn't put her um guitar on the roof did we does she still have her guitar we should also probably try and do these. Ooh, okay. Um, those rocks that we found earlier are pretty good. We could probably sell some of these because we're not... I don't think that we're going to be doing them anymore. We bought one of each, but it wasn't really necessary. Oh, and this is interesting. Okay, so we have a new little picture. I mean, that's sweet. Um, but it tell that does tell us that we don't get a picture of all three participants when we get a gold date because Destiny was also on that date. This was from the one that we got from last night. Destiny was also on that date and we didn't get a picture of all three of them, which, I mean, it I don't think that's really a mechanism in The Sims 4 to have a picture of all three people. But, I mean, this was a dynamic thing. I feel like it could have been. But, oh well. She is going to go on a little run and then I reckon maybe she'll push the limits if she has time. Destiny's up, eating, probably need another shower before you get going. So, what's wrong? Oh, no. Are you serious? We don't have any... Okay, great. We don't have any water. So, we're going to have to do our showering and whatnot when we get there. Um, This random person that I don't know has come over. Okay, interesting. Penny, when you're up, can you grab some leftovers? Uh, can we actually also get 
Alma the gym rat, just so that she doesn't get so sweaty. And is there anything else that we want for Alma, actually? I feel like we could probably get the night owl. Maybe we'll get her the little frugal. Yeah, okay. She she does still need to do a little bit of flirting for the aspiration, but also to um, upgrade the romance skill. So... We can do that in a bit. She's just working out at the moment. It's actually almost 1pm already. I guess they got in so late. But they're just chatting, hanging out, talking about books and Winterfest. And then I reckon let's get going over to Nina's place as soon as... I mean, this is pretty... I thought that she would stop on her own, but she's not... Is that not a thing anymore? Do they... Does she just keep going forever on the treadmill? Because she can't even, like, do a... What's it called? Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's bugged. Because she's been doing it for a couple of hours. I didn't tell her to stop, but she also didn't choose to either. Okay, let's get going. So I reckon travel, all of us. Destiny was just about to start working out as well. But we can do that when we get home, no biggie. And let's travel over to Nina's place. Which, <laughs> this is so funny that you can't see the baby's head. Because... <laughs> But okay, we're gonna go head over. Perfect. Okay. They're all out here. Cuties. Why don't you uh, tell a funny story to this little toddler? Make her laugh. Get in a good mood. Penny's feeling sad about something. Destiny kind of needs a shower, but not desperately. Oh, they've got their little... um things up and everything for Winterfest. Where are you going? Fill with water balloons. What are you filling with water balloons? I mean, what? Why you... F <laughs> Why she never thought to do that before? I don't know. But she's just going to go fill this bucket with water balloons. Have a water balloon fight with everyone. Should we do that? That's a bit random, but, you know, she wanted to do it and she really is desperate for fun. So why don't we just get them all to come over, have a water balloon fight. She's practicing singing. Have a water balloon fight. Stop singing. And oh, because <laughs> Nina's going to get you. <laughs> Maybe this will also cheer Penny up because she looks absolutely miserable right now. <laughs> I mean... There's quite there's a decent amount of them here that we can all play. It, all of them are just chucking them at Alma. That's hilarious. This is kind of cute, but Alma's not throwing. Oh, there she goes. Oh, don't know what happened there. She did she did a a fake out. I mean, this isn't as action packed as I thought it would be. And there's Mila Munch over there dressed as Santa. Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. What a winter fest. And they're all missing. It would be cool if there was an animation for them actually getting <laughs> hit by one. <laughs> that was just so funny. Okay, anyway, nice little bit of Winterfest fun. It's now 4.30 in the afternoon. And we haven't even started cooking yet. So can you... Um, cook a grand meal or can we actually cook together with leave these two out just go with nina can we do a grand meal i don't think we can when we're cooking together so i think she's just gonna have to cook a grand meal by herself oh i mean i don't Let's just do it by ourselves because I'm not entirely sure if it will count as a grand dinner. But she's going to go cook by herself. And uh, she also needs to call and invite over Sammy. So let's do that. Here we go. Invite to hang over at current lot. You're supposed to be doing a grand dinner, my love. So where is it? Where's the grand dinner? Cook a grand meal. Ham dinner. She's just taking the meat all the way over here. Sure, right, okay, well, she's invited Sammy over. She can make a new ham dinner. She's just going to leave her ham there. Um, can everybody else, like, let's get them all into a group. 
actions, uh, disband group, and then let's create a new one. More actions, form group. Zena here, she around. Oh, she's just doing some stuff in the kitchen. So let's add her to the group as well. Add to group. She's made a little stew to eat. Oh, Destiny likes optimistic sims, so that's cute. Uh, Alma, where are you going now with that meat? Like, can you please not? Can you just come here? Go here. And probably say hi to Sammy before he leaves. Flatter. Actually, why don't you come and do um, a funny introduction to Sammy? And hang out with him no can you please stop can you please stop alma you're actually really annoying me it's 6 p.m and it's winter fest and we're trying to have a wholesome meal and you're just run where are you running to i don't understand i really don't understand why she's where she's running to do they not have a functional oven or something is that what's wrong like right everything's going wrong but we're just going to do an impression. Uh, support Sammy's facial hair. Why don't you both come, come in here and uh, channel surf together? Look, now she's running all the way back to finish cooking her meal. She's uh, Destiny is freezing to death. So where are you and why? Okay, she's coming inside. So she should be fine in a minute. But they're all hanging out in here. This is cute. Whilst Alma's cooking. But this is kind of wholesome. Look how cute this is that they're all just sitting here hanging out. Right, and um, Destiny, why don't you go and have a shower? And then take a shower. Here you go. Right, she's almost finished. It's almost 9pm. The kids are probably asleep. I mean, they're definitely bored. Nina's even thinking about going to sleep. Uh, Father Winter's here though, so that's not bad. We could probably go and ask him for a gift, actually. Get a bit of extra cash. Do a uh, funny introduction to Father Winter. Right, but don't... Oh, okay, and she's just put the ham dinner on the floor. Okay, good. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. I don't quite know why Father Winter's in the shower with Destiny, but sure. Um, Are you also... Is he leaving? Why did you do a friendly introduction to him? No? Okay, he doesn't really want to talk to you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, why don't you go for a wee? And then let's call everyone to a grand meal. Let's all... I think there's enough seats here for everybody. Right, she's calling everyone over. To have their grand meal. No, come and sit together. Come and sit together, everybody. At least try to sit together. <laughs> Please try to sit together for Winterfest. I mean, it has been a pretty wholesome day. No. Oh, and he's brought the little baby, little Lloyd, down. Giving them a little meal as well. Why, why don't you grab a serving? Penny, why don't you grab a serving? Not really having a grand meal, you know? <laughs> but they're all, they're all eating. They're all hanging out. They're all in the same room. Apart from Destiny, I guess I spoke too soon with that one. Right, needs to go to the loo. Why is everyone keep on getting into their swimming costumes? I don't understand. We haven't really hung out a lot with uh, Sammy today, so let's just check in on him. And then uh, Destiny come and do a friendly introduction to Sammy as well. Why don't we all just come inside and watch a little bit more of TV together? Just do a little channel surf or whatnot. Every, I don't understand why Alma's in her swimsuit, so... Uh, Penny's wet herself, I'm pretty sure. Why don't you come and do take a little brisk shower, Penny? Are you going inside to do a little... Yeah, it's just Destiny and Alma and Sammy that are in their swimsuit. Sammy, I understand, because he's a what's-it-called sim. But everybody else? Bit weird. Right, and they're all just channel surfing together, having little fun old time right and she's actually having some fun she's still not having fun from this morning <laughs> when we made her um go on the treadmill but she's actually finally having some fun on winterfest 
Right, and then let's... Alma, I reckon you need to get into the shower. Take a shower. Oh, Destiny and Sammy are just getting to know each other. And then I reckon we start getting home. This is cute. Oh, and this is what Alma's little room looks like now. I guess they've turned it into... I mean... I say I guess. I did this. <laughs> Wait a second. Destiny has learned more about Sammy and is now attracted to him. What did she learn? That he's a... Gl that he's a gloomy sim, really. But that's interesting. Because Destiny's not attracted to anybody. Is that all she knows about him? Gloomy, yeah. That's the only trait that she knows about him. She knows, I think, some of his skills and stuff. But interesting. Okay, Winterfest is over. Perfect. They're all... Sammy's almost standing on a baby here. <laughs> Andre is like, are you okay down there? <laughs> Um, Destiny needs a loo. Let's go to the toilet. Oh, he's just streaking in front of everybody. Okay, not great. Uh, but I reckon we start getting home. So why don't we just say goodbye to everyone? Alma's just out here singing to herself. Look, cutie. Good job you're outside because it's not the greatest song I've ever heard. Not gonna lie. Oh, and Destiny's just leveled up in the romance skill. She's been flirting autonomously with Sammy. Okay, interesting. Uh, I wonder, though, how she would feel about him once she got to know all of his traits. So I'm trying to just work out... Because maybe this is just a fluke. Like, she likes gloomy sims, but then something else will cancel out. So I'd love to know. Does she know all of Penny's? Yeah, she knows all of Penny. She knows all of... Almas, maybe talk about friendly like discuss interests a little bit they've got like positive sentiments i don't know how penny's feeling right now she's kind of just standing in the middle like uh what is happening i thought that we were in a relationship all three of us oh destiny has learned more about sammy and is now very attracted to him what did she learn that he's good and gloomy okay I think his last trait is actually erratic. They're embracing and everything. Okay. Is this what... <laughs> is this what happens when, when Destiny's actually attracted to someone? Like, you don't even have to ask her to flirt with people? So that's what it feels like. Where's Alma? She's just... What's she doing? She's taking a reflective walk. Okay. Good for you, Alma. Little reflective walk. Has she seen them flirting? Is that why she's decided to go on a reflective walk? Because she's feeling a certain type of way about it? Hmm. It's definitely a spanner. In, it's definitely a spanner in the works. We didn't think that it was going to work out with Destiny and Alma and Penny anyway because of just Destiny was never attracted to either of them. Um, but it's still gonna sting. I think Destiny's also going on a reflective walk. Cause now, oh no, she's just walking. She's just going to take a nap on a bench. Okay. Well, why don't you all get home? And Alma's just gonna hang out here for a bit. And um think about you know she originally moved to the city to find her love to find a love and she did want to experiment in doing that she didn't want to just stick to like a conventional uh monotonous relationship because she wanted to understand really what truly makes people happy in relationships and so you know she started this career in romantic consulting she's gained the romance skills she's been working hard to kind of just learn and be open. But at the end of the day, it still feels a little bit to her like she's ended up in the same situation as she always does, which is kind of being the one that ends up heartbroken. So I reckon we're going to call this episode here. Uh, next episode will be the last episode of the Love Struck series. But, but I do have a sneaky little twist that I think that you might enjoy. So make, be sure to check that episode out when it comes out. If you have any suggestions for the last episode, please let me know. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.